When I first moved to Montreal, I remember being told about the mystical cheap apartment. This was Montreal lore. With a little bit of money, you could come and reinvent yourself. You could go from, I don't know, a former student council president playing classical violin in a small farm town to someone who wore iconic thrifted looks and played in the coolest six-piece chamber pop indie rock band north of Villeneuve. Don't ask. Our band was called Naked Face. If there was one thing people knew about Montreal, it's that this was the place in Canada to come for cheap apartments. I'm Eve. Let's figure out just how cheap that supposed golden age of renting in Montreal really was, and see if that Montreal still exists today. If you look through old editions of the Montreal Gazette, you'll find plenty of ads for apartments all over the city. <laughs> I, know it's, I know it's just a stack of paper. It's a prop. Look it up. In the olden days, this was called the classified section. Think of it like Facebook Marketplace, but printed on paper. The classified section was full of everything you could possibly desire. Boats, births, deaths, computers, companions, mediums, miscellaneous pets, and apartments. Looking at these listings can give us a snapshot of what the rental market was like back then. What better place to start than the notoriously chaotic and economically challenging time of the 1990s. Welcome to 1990s Montreal. No internet, just East German influenced art rock, bleached hair, and vibes. And apparently a UFO sighting from the roof of the Bonaventure pool. I, I wouldn't put my hand in fire to say this is a UFO, but I mean, it was something really, really weird. <laughs> Anyway, let's see what's for rent. Here we have a three bedroom apartment along Saint Denis in the plateau, sorry, <laughs> sur le plateau for $550. Adjusted to inflation, that's about $990. If you split that rent between three people, that's $330 each. That means to cover your rent, all you need to do is host a couple house shows every month. Yes, it's pay what you can, but if you can afford a six pack, you can afford the $5 cover. Jason. Let's go back to 2022, shall we? A lot has changed since the 90s. Economic hardship, intense political chaos, bangs. Oh wait, oh sorry, I misread. A lot has not changed since the 90s, but the search for apartments has. What would an apartment like that cost now? Could you even get a three bedroom for $990? On the plateau? In this economy? On Craigslist, the three bedroom apartments in the plateau I found started at about $1,700 and up. In case you're wondering, two to three bedrooms is usually code for no living room or there's a curtain hanging in the middle of the room and that's one of the walls. The cheapest three bedroom apartment I could find was $1,600. Plus it comes with three microwaves apparently which really inspires confidence in that oven. This is still about 60% more expensive than the one from the 90s. Mm, let's try this again. This time, let's go to the 2000s. Welcome back to the land of the flip phone, Y2K, the beginning of the indie music movement. Here's a place, a one bedroom in Rosemount. Rosemount, Rosemont. And it's perfect for quiet lovers. Can I say that? Anyway, a one bedroom apartment for 450, which with inflation is about $700 today. That sounds cheap, but I feel like I should be able to find something like that today, right? Wrong. This one, $1,000. This one, 1250. This one, actually it is $700. Just kidding, it's $2,300. Okay, I did find this apartment for 850, which is about only 20% more expensive than the old listing. But keep in mind, this was the only apartment that came even close. It seems like there may still be affordable places out there, but they can really feel few and far between. Kind of like warm days in the spring in this city. Let's give this one more go. Our destination this time, the 2010s. Just kidding, it actually kind of just looks the same. <laughs> Welcome to Montreal in the early 2010s. The city is now known as the heart of Indie Canadiana, which is turning some neighborhoods like the Mile End into tourist destinations. You heard me. The Mile End. If I close my eyes, I can still hear the faint rhythmic thud of deep house music emanating from the city's DIY venues and a stream of gray-eyed 20-somethings getting on the park bus and talking about their favorite tumblers. What a time. What am I doing at this time? Living in this three-bedroom apartment near jean Toulon Metro with my two friends where we each paid, wait for it, $266. And the place was decent. I mean, yes, we had bedbugs. 
twice. And we live next to a construction site for a year. But, but the bathroom cabinets also were missing a drawer or three. But still, the whole place cost us $800. And we even refused a $6 rent increase. And one. Okay, even though this was a great era, was it? I'm done with the 2010s. Let's go back to 2022. It really feels like that Montreal, the one overflowing with cheap apartments, was a real thing. And with it being a more affordable place to live, it meant you didn't have to hustle so hard just to get by. Nowadays though, it feels like that Montreal is slipping away, especially in some neighborhoods. According to the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, that three bedroom apartment that we had in 2014 is just below the average cost of a one bedroom in Montreal today. However, these numbers are for the entire city and include apartments that have had the same tenant for years. If you look at data from rentals.ca, which measures new apartments available on the market, the average cost goes up to $1,500. Just under twice as much as we paid for our three bedroom apartment a few years ago. So what does that mean for the city? Are we gonna lose that thing that attracts so many artists here? Well, before you worry, there's still plenty of reasons that people move here. The snow is not one of them. For one, it's still cheaper than Toronto, Vancouver, and other places with a big cultural scene in Canada. I mean, sure, you could choose Toronto and you could live in this very red basement suite for $1,700 in Mississauga. No hate against Mississauga. I love them all there, sort of. Or you could go to beautiful Vancouver. I mean, it's not that expensive there, right? I'm just kidding. The average cost of a one bedroom according to rentals.ca in Vancouver is over $2,000. But even though the prices are going up, artists and other people are still moving here. Why? That's what's beautiful about Montreal. It's a unique place where you, you get this, this vibrant culture. People have like formed communities of care, communities of support. Diversity of, of, of incomes and, and, and different people. I think we know that historically Montreal is a safe haven for a diverse group of people, you know, newly arrived immigrants, new artists, students. This is gonna quickly disappear if the different levels of government don't intervene. You see, the Montreal lore, the Montreal draw, is about more than just cheap apartments. The city has such strong, vibrant, artistic communities that have come here or stayed here to grow, experiment, and create. So is that Montreal still here? Yes, but it could slip away if rents continue to rise. If something isn't done to fix the issue though, we'll have to ask ourselves. In a city that prides itself on being affordable, what happens when fewer and fewer people can afford to live here? For CBC, I'm Eve Parker Finley from a somewhat affordable apartment in Montreal. No bedbugs though, yet.